Christ. Aching all over. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. See you later. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> Ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Probislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. Villagers held them off, and they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces, I hope I'm not intruding. 
On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> Worth. Mm. Curva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said it would have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you, all of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. something about the price. Well, we can try it. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement.
I am at your service, Sir Knight. Good luck, then. God be with you. See you later. I hope I can be of help to you. Hey, lad! Don't you want I've a got something for you. I hope you won't need them, but just in case. Thank you. I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. Don't you feel hot under all that iron? I'd like to take Mutt traveling with me again. All right. Take care of each other. I'd like to know... That's all. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Henry, let's play a game. What game? A guessing game. I have something with me today, and you have to guess what it is. All right. You'll have to give me a clue, though. Fair enough. Here's a clue for you. It's something you'd find in a tavern. Is it wine? Ah, sir would like some wine, would he? From a golden goblet, or will silver do? No, it's not wine. But you're close. Is it a... Uh... Bed? A bed? They have beds in taverns, that much is true. 
But no, I don't have a bed hidden on my person as it happens. And <laughs> I thought you were more observant. Is it beer? Finally. What else would you go to a tavern for? So it is beer. Let's be having it then. Wait, that's not all. Since you guessed right, as a reward, you can choose. Either I'll give you the beer, or I'll reveal one piece of family wisdom our grandfather used to tell us. Tough choice. All right, I'll take the wisdom. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Really, really ready? Don't leave me in suspense. Tell me. Right. Listen carefully. This is the wisdom of our family, passed down from generation to generation. When someone offers you free beer, take it. <laughs> well, that's it. Ugh, all right, you got me, I admit it. <laughs> nice one. At least next time you will be wiser. <laughs> anyway, that's all the wisdom I have for you today. It's time me and my beer headed for home. Will you accompany us? Well, naturally I couldn't leave such a pretty pair to go alone. Here we are. Thanks for stopping by, Henry. My pleasure. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Fella. That's my boy. Here, heal. I could do with a bite to eat. How are you? I'm interested in betting on the tourney. Of course you are. What can I bet on? Let's keep it simple. You can bet on yourself to win the whole tournament. If you reckon you're up to it, not everyone's got what it takes. If you lose, you forfeit your wager. But if you win, you'll get double back from me, on top of the prize money from Sir Hanush. That's a fair wager, ain't it? What do you say? All right, why the hell not? I'll try my luck. I'm glad to hear it. A nice little wager. Well, break a leg. Literally, I hope. You've an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest failed. And there was no grain to mill. And a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to bursting. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out of your ass, Henry, and take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow. So why concern ourselves with morals? Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder, a 
slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Can you tell me... What's the local lord like? Sir Hanush? He treats his people well, but he's tough as an old oak. The way things are these days, I wouldn't wonder if he and his men started kicking some asses. What's Sir Han's cape on, like? Ah, that worthless dandy. Sir Hanush has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. Do you know Sir Bernard, the rat I captain? He's a grumpy bastard, but fair, I'd say. That's all. Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Consider it done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. God be with you. I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. God save you, Henry. I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Take care. Hey! Here you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have some skills to hone. Well, I'll think it over. Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own. Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Goodbye. God 
be with you, Henry. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. This was for real, I'm yelling for a guard. Try it again. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pasha. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Teach me how to pick. Thank you. 